What are the injections used to anesthetize the maxillary teeth, soft and hard tissues? We will now discuss the following injections, which provide anesthesia to the maxillary teeth, the supporting hard and soft structures. Infiltration or superperiosteal injection, posterior superior alveolar nerve block, middle superior alveolar nerve block, anterior superior alveolar nerve block, also known as the infraorbital injection, greater palatine nerve block, nasopalatine nerve block, the second division nerve block, the anterior middle superior alveolar nerve block, and the palatal approach to the ASA. Maxillary infiltration is used to achieve pulpal anesthesia of one or two maxillary teeth. The area anesthetized is the pulp and the buccal soft tissue and bone of the tooth anesthetized. The recommended needle is a 27 gauge short. The insertion site is in the height of the mucobuccal fold over the apex of the anesthetized tooth. The needle is held parallel to the maxillary bone and inserted until the needle tip is at or above the apex of the tooth. After two negative aspirations, one third of a cartridge of local anesthetic is slowly injected. The posterior superior alveolar nerve block provides pulpal anesthesia to the three maxillary molars and the supporting buccal soft tissue and bone. From 28% of patients, the mesial buccal root of the first molar may not be anesthetized. A 27 gauge short needle is recommended. For the left PSA nerve block, a right-handed operator should sit at the 10 o'clock position facing the patient. For the right PSA nerve block, a right-handed operator should sit at the 8 o'clock position facing the patient. The insertion site is the height of the buccal fold adjacent to the maxillary second molar. The syringe is held in an upwards, inwards, and backwards direction and is inserted to a depth of 16 millimeters. After two negative aspirations, a half a cartridge of local anesthetic is administered over 30 seconds. The middle superior alveolar nerve block provides pulpal anesthesia to the maxillary premolars and the mesial buccal root of the maxillary first molar. A 27 gauge short needle is recommended. For the left MSA nerve block, the right-handed operator should face the patient directly from the 8 or 9 o'clock position. For the right MSA nerve block, a right-handed operator should face the patient from the 10 o'clock position. The insertion site is the height of the buccal fold adjacent to the maxillary second premolar. The needle is inserted until its tip is located well above the apex of the second premolar. After two negative aspirations, a half a cartridge of local anesthetic is slowly deposited. The anterior superior alveolar nerve block, also known as the infraorbital nerve block, provides pulpal anesthesia to the five maxillary anterior teeth, the incisors, the canine, and the two premolars, in addition to the buccal soft tissue and bone overlying these teeth. The skin of the lower eyelid the lateral side of the nose and the upper lip is also anesthetized. For a right or left ASA nerve block, the right-handed operator should sit at the 10 o'clock position facing in the same direction as the patient. The infraorbital foramen is palpated and the lip is retracted. A 25 gauge long needle is inserted into the height of the buccal fold adjacent to the maxillary first premolar. The needle is held parallel to the maxillary bone and inserted until bone is contacted at the roof of the infraorbital foramen. After two negative aspirations, one half to two thirds of a cartridge of local anesthetic is deposited over 30 to 40 seconds. The greater palatine nerve block, also known as the anterior palatine nerve block, provides anesthesia to the posterior portion of the hard palate and its overlying soft tissues, anteriorly as far as the first premolar 
and medially to the midline. A 27 gauge short needle is recommended. For the left greater palatine nerve block, the right-handed operator should sit facing in the same direction as the patient at the 11 o'clock position. For the right greater palatine nerve block, a right-handed operator should sit facing the patient at the 7 or 8 o'clock position. A cotton swab is placed in the patient's mouth to palpate the greater palatine foramen. The needle is inserted into the soft tissues just anterior to the greater palatine foramen. As the needle is advanced through soft tissue, local anesthetic is deposited. On contacting bone and following negative aspiration, one quarter to one third of a cartridge of local anesthetic is deposited over 15 to 20 seconds. The nasopalatine nerve block provides anesthesia to the anterior portion of the hard palate, both soft and hard tissues, from the mesial of the right first premolar to the mesial of the left first premolar. For the nasopalatine nerve block, sit at the 9 or 10 o'clock position, facing in the same direction as the patient. In the multiple injection technique, the first injection is an infiltration into the labial soft tissues between the two central incisors. 0.3 mLs of anesthetic is administered. The second injection is an infiltration into the now numb papilla between the two central incisors. Local anesthetic is administered as the needle is advanced until blanching is noted on the palatal soft tissues. The third injection is a traditional nasopalatine nerve block in which a needle is inserted into the soft tissues just lateral to the incisive papilla. The needle is advanced through soft tissue until bone is contacted and following negative aspiration, 0.3 mLs of local anesthetic is administered. The maxillary or second division nerve block provides pulpal anesthesia to the maxillary teeth on that side, the buccal soft tissue and bone overlying these teeth, the soft tissues and bone of the hard palate and part of the soft palate medially to the midline, the skin of the lower eyelid, the side of the nose, the cheek, and the upper lip. A 25 gauge long needle is recommended. Following completion of the greater palatine nerve block, the needle is inserted into the soft tissues over the greater palatine foramen. The needle is inserted into the greater palatine foramen and advanced to a depth of 30 millimeters. Following negative aspiration, 1.8 mLs of local anesthetic is deposited slowly over minimally one minute. The anterior middle superior alveolar nerve block provides pulpal anesthesia to the five maxillary anterior teeth, the incisors, canine, and premolars, the buccal soft tissue and bone, and the palatal soft tissue and bone overlying these same teeth. A 27 gauge short needle is recommended. For the AMSA nerve block, sit at the nine or 10 o'clock position, facing in the same direction as the patient. The needle is inserted into the tissues at a point halfway along the line between the premolars and the midline of the palate. 1.4 to 1.8 mLs of anesthetic is slowly deposited. The palatal approach to the anterior superior alveolar nerve block, also called the PASA, provides pulpal anesthesia bilaterally to the maxillary incisors and to a lesser degree the maxillary canines as well as the labial and palatal soft and hard tissues of these teeth. For the PASA nerve block, sit at the 9 or 10 o'clock position, facing in the same direction as the patient. A 27 gauge short needle is recommended. The needle is inserted into tissue lateral to the incisive papilla. The needle is inserted slowly to a depth of 6 to 10 millimeters into the incisive canal. Following negative aspiration, a volume of 1.4 to 1.8 mLs of local anesthetic is administered slowly.